What's up, single ladies? This is for you, public service announcement. Don't forget to follow me on Women on Fire Ministry. Women on Fire Ministry is my Facebook page, okay? This is the place where I will keep you guys posted about single girl Bible study, single girl daily prayer, along with encouragement, motivation. Um, also, I do give homework assignments as well with Bible study. Uh, any updates concerning um, you guys, I will have it posted there. This is what this Facebook page look like. Please, 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 from the bottom of my heart, I'm asking you humbly as I know how, <laughs> to please go and follow your girl. Follow me, support me just by following me and subscribing to my YouTube channel as well. I also have a TikTok. My TikTok is Amanda.Tucker1. So what you, what you waiting on, sis? Single sis, married women, if you are married, you are welcome to join as well. It's not just for single, it's for married as well. Because, listen, many of us is about to partake in a season of marriage soon. And we need some advice. We need some encouragement. We need some one-on-one, -on -one, some lessons from you. So, please feel free to join as well, all right? Peace out. Back to the video. I'm on my way to meet you. Gotta talk, you know. All these trials and tribulations got me tired. I need rest. And I heard what's up everybody i hope all is well with you guys listen you guys are not going to see my face too much on this video but you will see it now listen the purpose of this video is to help you guys understand how to pray scripture all right so on this video you guys will see me um reading scripture and then whatever stands out at me at that moment you're going to see me write it down and then i'm going to turn it into a legit prayer all right one thing you need to understand, the reason why it's so important to read scripture and to pray scripture is because God responds quickly by his word. All right. So this series is going to be all about protection. Every scripture that I got over is going to be protection. All right. So like I told you guys, I was supposed to have been doing this last month. Well, this month, but I forgot. So I'm going to end this month. And start next month with um, protection and different things like that. So you guys are going to learn how to activate God's protection using his word. Let me repeat that. The purpose of this video is to for you guys to learn how to activate the protection of God using scripture. All right. So stay tuned. All right. Peace out. What's up, YouTube? I hope all is well with you guys on today. Look, you guys may not see my face too much on this video because this is a educational video um, today. Um, as I told you guys that um, yesterday at the park, the Lord reminded me that I was supposed to be teaching you guys how to activate the protection of God using scripture. And so, being because this month is my birth month, I forgot to do that. And so, I wanted to end this month by doing it. So, today we are looking at Psalms 35. As you guys can see, I got my, my Bible open. Um, I have me some post-its that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, I have me some highlighters as well. Um... And I have my little stick in my journal that I'm going to actually be sticking this post-it inside of it. Matter of fact, I'm going to do it now so I can, hold on. Because I'm almost done using this journal, y'all. Like, I ain't got that much more to go in this journal at all. So, all right. So I'm going to post this sticky right here. Uh, or you can, you don't have to necessarily use a post-it. I honestly use these right here when something really sticks at me um, in scripture. Then I, I probably would post it in my Bible and write it or whatnot. Or you could just simply just 
you use your journal right here and you can do it that way to matter of fact i think that's what i may do is use my journal so this is a part one all right let me see if I make sure y'all can see that real good all right because i gotta put it to me so i can read it so today we are going to discuss how to activate psalms 35 psalms 35 I wrote the word protection here, so anytime that I want a scripture about protection, I can remember that Psalms 35 talks about protection. So I wrote the word protection right beside it. All right. Usually, um, what I usually do, um, I usually read the passages. I usually read all the passages. All right. And um, 35 is a little lengthy, if you will. But it's okay. But I usually read the whole passage first. And then I go back and kind of go through each passage and write out, you know, those prayer points that, st that stands out to me. So in this particular case, I'm going to do the whole book of Psalms 35 with you guys. So that you guys can get a extensive learning on how to do it. Alright, so first thing first, I'm going to read the scripture. I'm not going to read it out loud, okay? So, I'm just going to read the scripture. I'm going to read 1 through 4 right quick.
Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to give you a few examples. Okay, I used um, Psalms 35, and I'm gonna write that up here. One through six. All right. As you guys can see, I wrote it on my notes, on my journal. So, like I said, usually I just read out the passages first, and then I go back and I reread the passage. And whatever sticks up in me, I use that um, to be my prayer point, right? So, I'm going to uh, give you some examples of 1 through um, 6, all right? So, let's say that... And I'm going to go back to the beginning. All right. So this is what I got from verse 1 through verse 6. All right. Fight against those that fight against me. Stand up for my help. Stop those who is pursuing me. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor. Those who seek my life, let them be turned back and brought to confusion. Those who plot my hurt, let them be like shafts before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their ways be dark and slippery and let your angel pursue them. All right, so those are the things that stood out to me in verse 1 through 6. All right, so now we are going to turn these prayer points into actual prayers, okay? And this is how you activate the protection of God over your life and over your family life, okay? So we're about to get started. Now, like I said, before I get started, these are just prayer points that stood out to me. But now we are actually about to turn these scriptures into actual prayers, all right? All right. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for being my father. I thank you for loving me unconditionally. And you can start the prayer off however you want to, okay? You don't got to start it off like mine. I'm just starting mine off like that. Father God, we just thank you for who you are. Father God, according to Psalms 35, verse 1 through 6, God, I pray, Father God, that you will fight against those that fight against me according to Psalms 35 verse 1 in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask God that you will stand up for me. Stand up and be my help. Stand up for my help, God, according to Psalms 35 verse 1 in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I ask God that you will stop those who is pursuing me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor, Father. Father God, I ask God that those who are seeking my life, God, let them be turned back and be brought back into confusion. Father, those who plot against my hurt, that plot against my family, that plot against my friends, God, let them be like shafts before the wind. And Father, release your angels upon them, God. Allow your angels to chase them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father God, oh, excuse me, Father God, in the name of Jesus, let their ways be dark and slippery. Father, allow your angels to pursue them now, God. Right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. You see how that worked? You see how now Psalm 35, 1 through 6 has now been activated over my life. Stop, Sadie. Stop. So Psalm 35, verse 1 through 6 has now been activated over my life. So now we're going to do... Psalm 35, verse 7 through 12. All right? So, I'm going to get my journal so that I can write out my prayer points for that. And we're going to turn those into prayers.
So, like, if there's a question about a scripture that I may need the Lord to help me on, I used to put a question mark there like I just did right here in Psalm 35, verse 13. All right? So, I usually go back and ask the Holy Spirit, what does that mean? So, that may be something you want to do. All right, so I just got done reading verse 1 through 14. That's why I stopped that. So this is what uh, grabbed my attention throughout that. They had hidden a net for me in a pit without any cause. Let destruction come upon them unexpectedly. And let their hidden net be for them to catch them. Let them fall into destruction. My soul will be joyful to you. So that what stood out to me. So now we're going to turn that also into a prayer. All right, you ready? Like I said, you don't have to start it off the way I started off. You have your own unique way of starting a prayer off. And however way you start your prayer off, you will just start it off that way. I'm just giving you what I do and how I do things, okay? So the way that I pray may not be the way you pray. We all have different prayer life, different way of praying things, okay? So you do as you feel comfortable when it comes to you praying, all right? So we are about to pray and make these into uh, an actual prayer. So that um, verse 7 through 14 can be activated over my life as well as over your life, all right? You ready? Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Father God, that every hidden net, Father, that the enemy has set for me, Father God, I pray, God, that you would allow them, God, to fall into destruction, God, unexpectedly, God. God, let that net, God, that has that they have set for me, Father, God, let it be a net that they set for their own uh, demise, God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, I pray, Father God, that each and every person that plots, that schemes, that seek after my life, that is trying to trick me, God, that is trying to keep me to fall, Father. Lord, let them fall into destruction, God. And my soul will be forever joyful in you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. God, I pray that Psalms 35 verse 7 through 14, God, will be activated over my life, God. It is so. According to my faith, let it be it unto you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. So, that's usually what I do. And so, I am going to do, like I said, the whole uh, chapter of Psalms 35 with you guys. So that um, you guys can get a real good... Um, ideal of how to do it because this is part one for you guys or whatnot so yeah so now i'm about to do 15 through 20 yeah 15 through 20 so i'm about to read
Okay. So this is what I get from 15 through 20. My enemies rejoice and gather together to plot against me. Attackers gather against me and I didn't know it. Lord, rescue me from their destruction. Let them, hold on, let them not rejoice over me wrongfully. For they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful manners. No, ma matters against the quiet ones in the land. So, of course, we are going to turn verse 15 through 20 into a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to Psalm 35, verse 15 through 20. Now, you can say it that way. If you just don't want to go verse by verse. You can just say, Lord, according to Psalms 35, verse 15 and 20. And then you can just quote, you know, make, you know, what you um, got a hold of into a prayer. Or you can go verse by verse and you can say, Lord, according to verse um, Psalms 35, verse 15, according to, the, you know, Psalms 35, verse 16, and so forth. Or if you don't want to do it that way, you can always just make it as a whole. According to Psalms 35, verse 15 and 20. So that's what I'm doing. All right. All right. So let's turn this into a prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus God, according to Psalms 35, verse 15 through 20, Father, it says that my enemy rejoice and gather together to plot against me. It says that attackers gather against me and I didn't even know it. Father God, I'm asking you right now, Father God, that you will be God over my life and that you will be Jehovah Gabor, the Lord God, strong and mighty, mighty in battle. Father God, I'm asking you to rescue me from their destruction, God. Let them not rejoice over me wrongfully, God, in the name of Jesus, God. For we know, God, they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful matters against me. And being because I am quiet, God, I'm the one of the quiet ones in the land, God, I ask, God, that you would take up for me, God. Be my defense, God. Stand up for me, Father, God, in the name of Jesus. Fight for me, Jehovah Gabor. Allow your archangel, Michael, your archangel, Gabriel, God, to battle for me, God. Release your host of angels for me, God, and allow your host of angels to battle for me, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, according to Psalms 35, verse 15 through 20, Father God, I will forever rejoice in you. I will forever love you. I will forever, you will forever be the apple of my eye. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. You see how I turn verse 15 through 20 as a prayer? So, what I would encourage you guys to do is to read the passage first and then go back and reread the passage. And whatever sticks out to you, write it on your journal and, and just turn it into a prayer. Like I said, there is no set way of how you can um, pray. Like I said, every, every person prayer life is different. Everybody pray differently. So your prayer life may not be like mine. You may not start your prayer off like mine. Ooh, excuse me, like I said before. And so you want to be authentic when you're doing this, okay? You want to be as authentic as you know how. So I just did 15 through 20. And I'm going to do now 21 through 25. And then after I do that, then I'm going to end it with 26 through 27. And that will be the whole book of Psalms 35, okay? So I'm about to get started.
Okay, so this is what I got from verse 21 through, let me write that down, verse 21 through 25. They open up their mouth against me and say, Aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. Don't keep silence, Lord. Lord, do not be far from me. Vindicate me, Lord, according to your righteousness. Let them no longer rejoice over me. Let them no more say, Aha, aha. All right, so of course, now. Um, we are going to turn this into a prayer. Now, what you guys probably saw me do is write first. That's because I'm used to doing it, and so it's no issue for me. But if you are just starting off learning how to pray scripture, I want to encourage you to start off reading the passage in fullness first. And then go back and reread it, and then write out those things that start, you know, that stands out to you. And then turn them into prayers, okay? Because one thing about God's word, he will respond by his word, okay? Quickly. So although I'm teaching you guys about Psalms 35 right now, I'm actually praying this legit, <laughs> praying this over myself as well as I teach it. So therefore, Psalms 35 has now been activated over my life. So any plot, any schemes, any wickedness that the enemy is trying to do against me, or even in my sleep, God is fighting for me even right now as I teach you guys. I feel you, God. God is fighting for me even now as I'm teaching you. Why? Because he responds quickly to his word. Believe me, you will see. You will see things come to pass when you are praying scripture for sure. All right. So let's turn verse 21 through 25 into a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to Psalm 35 verses 21 through 25. Father, they open up their mouth against me and they say, aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. Father God, I pray right now, God that you don't keep silent lord lord do not be far from me father vindicate me vindicate your daughter vindicate god me god in the name of jesus lord according to your righteousness god vindicate me let them no longer be able to rejoice over me let them no more be able to say aha aha father father god stand up for me god Plead my case, God, in the name of Jesus, God, and I forever give you the glory. I will forever praise you, and I will forever magnify your holy, wonderful name. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen. All right, so now we're going to work on the last section, which is what, 26 through 28? And that will be the ending of part one. All right. So let's get, get me a new sheet out. So now I'm about to read. And also, too, you can also add your name uh, in in this, too. You know, you don't have to just, wherever you see fit for your name to be placed, you can also put your name there. So I'm going to give you an example in a minute, okay?
All right, so this is what I got so far. Let them not say, I sw this is where I was saying that you can add your name where you feel is necessary. Let them not say, I swallowed Amanda up. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion. Those who rejoice in Amanda's hurt, let them be clothed with uh, shame and dishonor. Okay? So, I actually broke this down into two parts. So, this is the first part, okay? But this is from Scripture 26 through... Uh, no, this is just in verse 26, okay? So, and then I'm going to do 27 to 28 in a moment. So, I'm going to turn this into a prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, those... Hold on, give me, give me a moment, y'all. Sorry about that. Let me cut this thing off. Jesus. All right. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, want to just thank you for who you are. I love you. I appreciate you that I am privileged enough to be able to stand before you and to pray scripture, God, to be able to open up your word freely, God, at any time. So, God, just thank you. Father God, according to Psalm 35, verse 26, let them not say, I swallowed Amanda up. Let them be ashamed and brought into mutual confusion. Father God, those who rejoice in Amanda hurt, let them be, let them be closed with shame and dishonor. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, in verse 27 and 28, this is for those who are actually, who, excuse me, who is actually rejoicing and who is truly showing compassion towards you, okay? So, I would turn verse 27 and 28 into a prayer like this. And I didn't write this down, so I'm just going to look at scripture, okay? Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, let them... No, excuse me. Father God, according to um, Psalms 35 and the last verse in 26, it says, Who exalt themselves against Amanda? Let them shout for joy and be glad. Who favor my righteousness cause and let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified. Who has pleasure in the prosperity of of his servant and Amanda tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long in the name of Jesus you see how I just turned it into a simple prayer it wasn't nothing long and drawn out it wasn't nothing um, so worded that you really could understand what I was praying for so, I pray that this has truly indeed um, helped you guys or motivated you guys to learn more about how to pray scripture. All you really need, y'all, is a Bible, a journal, pen, highlighters, and like I said, if you like to have sticky note gets you some post-its at Dollar Tree like this right here because they are bigger and you are able to add more to it. Um, I got some more journals as well from Dollar Tree. So, yeah. Actually, I'm going to take this one to church. This is going to be my sermon uh, journal right here so I can write down notes from sermons or whatnot. But, yeah, guys. So, I hope and pray that this has helped you in every way possible. Remember, you always want to pray scripture because that is how God responds quickly. Not saying that he don't respond when you don't use scripture because he do. It just may take him a little bit more time versus with scripture because he has to, he has to answer his word because the word of God is alive. It's a two-edged sword, right? Um. Uh, 
He has to perform his word. Okay? He has to hasten his words. What I mean is that anytime you read and you pray his word, he has to respond. Because God is not a man who shall lie, nor the son of man to repent. Whatever he has spoken, it settles it. Okay? And he's, he's have to perform exactly what it says to do. So that's why it's so important to get into your word. That's why it's so important to pray scripture. So if you never pray scripture a day before in your life, use this video as a template, as a format, so that you can learn, so that you can start on your own praying scripture, all right? Um, I hope you like this type of content. I will be doing more of this because again, this is a series. So therefore, I don't know how long God is going to have me to do this. I'm almost certain it's going to be for the whole month of October because I was supposed to have been doing this for the whole month of September. So I'm sure I'm almost 1000% positive that for the whole month of October, um, I'm going to be praying protection prayer. I'm going to teach you guys how to activate scripture for God protection to be um, activated over your life. I'm just starting now because I'm going to end the month of September by doing so, so that you guys can already get a good idea of how to pray scripture. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button for me. Okay. Bye.